Hey, howdy there again, folks. Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, see, folks, sampler platter video series of these I've been doing for the while. I'm going to go over there to add food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, folks. Then I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious crap that, you know, whilst I'm doing so, I'm in the car and grody work shirt and such and all that things. I'm not the most professional YouTuber, but then I never claim to be. If you clicked on this video expecting a top hat and a monocle and editing and basic human decency, I don't know what to tell you folks. That's not what the sampler platter is all about. What is the sampler platter all about folks? Because what am I trying for y'all today? Well, we're gonna do this one because it's on top. Boom! This is Little Debbie's Cookies and Cream Brownie. Let's call it what it is, folks. It's a fucking Oreo brownie. Like, you could go, oh, it's cookies and cream because you didn't want to get the Oreo license. Why not? Oreo will sell that license to fucking anything. Okay, and I'm not wrong. Like, just Oreo is just, I mean, and it makes sense. Oreo is delicious. But you can put that branding on anything. You could brand shoes with Oreos and be like, we put cream in the bottom so it'll make you jump higher and then when it explodes, it'll be delicious. You could do that. That would be perfectly fine. But apparently Little Debbie, I don't know how things are at the Little Debbie factory. Okay, maybe she's over there. She's a little bit strapped for cash. You know, maybe she's got to go over there, get the lemonade stand going or something. But uh, can't go over there and fly this one by me little debbie that's because when i saw it i was like holy shit it's an oreo brownie and then it was like oh no no it's a cookies and cream brownie shrewd shrewd just saying oh uh, let's try a thing i'm hoping this is good i love i love an occasional uh little debbie brownie not too often you know i'd like to keep at least a few of my hard valves intact but every now and again there's some goodness there. They're so dense. They're dense and they're heavy. Like you could bludgeon somebody with one. And I don't think you'd kill them, but they, they know you hit them. Now, my only concern is that compared to the Cosmic Brownie. Boy, oh boy, that smells exactly like one of their brownies. And to the folks who enjoy their brownies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You open that up, you get an instant waff of delicious little Debbie brownies. But yeah, the only potential downside that I could see is that uh, since it's not a cosmic brownie, it doesn't have the little cookie pieces, which I, I, I enjoy. They're a nice little added texture. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. Look at the density of that. You could build housing with this stuff. It would be delicious housing. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, well, I can see why they didn't brand these with the Oreo branding, because the reason why I took a second bite, despite these being one of the chewiest things on the planet, is that you really don't get much in the way of the cookie cream flavor, like seriously. Um, it mostly just tastes like a cosmic brownie, like... I had that whole first bite, and I'm chewing away, chewing away, and I had to take the second one because I was like, I need to, I, I apparently need to look for this. I wasn't expecting I would need to search for the cookies and cream flavor, but I really did. Um, there's a little bit of a texture thing from, like, the cookie pieces, uh, which I'm sure if I went over there and got a magnifying glass, I could probably still see parts of the Oreo logo. Of course, they probably went with some fucking knockoff ones like Bordeaux or some shit. Um, but yeah, okay. I mean, it's good, but it's good because it's a cosmic brownie. Like, 
I'm not going to say there's no cookies and cream flavor. It, it's there a tiny bit. But, like, the problem is, is that you look at the, the ratio, right? And, like, that seems like a pretty decent layering. But the Cosmic Brownie power and flavor is so strong, you would have had to have done, like, a full, like, quarter inch worth of cream, I think, to be able to really combat against it. Like, it's good, but, again, it's just... It's not good because it tastes like a new product. It's good because it tastes like a good old product. So, hooray? I mean, I guess if anything, I feel a little bit swindled just because it's like, I could have just got a normal Cosmic Brownie and it would have had the little delicious candy pieces on it. And this doesn't have the candy pieces. It does have its own thing. But it's like, well, I wasn't even particularly in the mood for a brownie when I bought this. But I was like, well, it's a new thing. I can review it for the show. So it's like I kind of got hooked in with the promise of delicious cookies and cream on a Cosmic Brownie. And I feel like I am feel like I got a little bit swindled. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Tastes perfectly okay, but it's just... Yeah, you're just, you're not getting enough cookies and cream. So, um... I mean, you know, would I recommend other people try it? I guess. I mean, it's... If you enjoy Cosmic Brownies, you'll almost certainly enjoy this. Unless you're, like, super hung up on the little candy pieces. Um, if that's, like, the linchpin of the whole brownie situation, then, you know, obviously you're going to have problems. But but the thing is, it's like, okay, here's what you can do, right? Let's say you're in an area where this product is not yet available, okay? What you can do to try this product, don't go on the internet, don't order it or anything just go down to your local 7-Eleven or convenience store or what have you and get yourself a Cosmic Brownie. Take the little uh, pieces off, the little candy pieces, and just eat it like that. And you will have essentially this. So, yeah, it's good, but it's just dis super disappointing. So, eh. All right, well, I guess that's the end of that. Five things before I get out of here, folks. Uh, have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year, and folks... You could go over there and have yourselves a true Oreo Tastic rest of your life because they cheaped out, folks. They cheaped out on the cookies and cream, and we're left with a disappointing product. Don't half ass it. Get the Oreo. Very final two things, folks. Uh, number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what do you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay? That. That is simultaneously one of the hardest things to do, but also kind of a minimum requirement, in my opinion. <laughs> but we do live very difficult lives, many of us. And I, I say that as somebody whose life is, by and large, not too bad. You know, ups and downs, swings and roundabouts, all that good stuff. But, you know, but it's okay. But at the same time, I still have to deal with things that frustrate me, whatever, and when those situations occur, there is that, you know, that thing, that reptilian part of the back of my brain that's just like, drop, trow, show your asshole, and just be like, fuck you! But I try not to do that. I try to mitigate the level of assholishness in my life. No one needs to see my asshole. No, that's, that's not... That's not for other people to see. Hell, I can't even see it unless I have a fucking mirror and really get flexible. So, very final two things, folks. Or, very final thing, folks... Uh, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try the fucking cookies and cream brownie. And uh, like me, you're going to be kind of disappointed. Maybe. But maybe you know somebody who works a Little Debbie, and you're going to go over there and you're going to be like, look, Little Debbie, I know you're actually like a 103-year-old Debbie, but uh, we need... Or is it some sort of a cloning situation where one dies and they just... Just saying. Uh... But maybe you go over there and you're like, look, I know you and Captain Oreo have had it out for the last century and a half. But come on, patch your differences, put some real Oreo on your fucking Cosmic Brownie so we can get the treat that we all deserve. Or conversely, you could go over there and do something way more realistic than that. Like, uh, oh, uh, go to a, go to like a museum or, or an aquarium or something like that. Like something semi-educational that's like actually still fun to go to. Right? Right. Bye. <laughs>